Right now at noon, tracking Hurricane Maria, Puerto Rico's governor is saying the island is facing an unprecedented disaster and asking for more government aid. On our coast, the Outer Banks are evacuated as Maria moves north. Good afternoon from the Raleigh Eyewitness News Center. I'm Barbara Gibbs. And I'm John Clark. Thanks for tuning in. And here's a live look now at Hatteras. You can see the waves and heavy surf along the coast. And we have team coverage for you this afternoon as Maria moves closer. Our Andrea Blanford is live along the Outer Banks as that wind howls and the surf roars. And meteorologist Don Schwinnaker is in the first alert Raleigh Storm Center watching Maria's latest track. And so let's start with Don. Don, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon to you, Barbara, and good afternoon to you. Let's talk about the watches and warnings that are out now for the Outer Banks. You can see the tropical storm warning extended now down to Surf City includes Moorhead City, Ocracoke, Hatteras, out toward Nags Head, and then on up toward uh, Kill Devil Hills, Duck, and it has been extended now up to Virginia Beach and includes some waters off the Virginia Beach area as well. As far as the latest plot on this hurricane, from the National Hurricane Center, maximum sustained winds have held in this update at 75 miles an hour. Gusts are at 90 miles an hour. Overnight they were at 100, so they have gone down a little bit. It is moving to the north still at 7 miles per hour. The good news is it continues to the north and actually takes a northeast turn by 8 a.m. tomorrow it will be the, at its closest approach to Hatteras and the Outer Banks. So even though those waves have picked up, they're really not going to get, uh, they really could get actually bigger over the next 24 hours as that gets closer and then it quickly shoots out to sea. Looking at the wind radii, you can see that it hovers over here until tomorrow night and then it moves out with those tropical storm force winds. How high will those winds go? Well, we're looking at one of our models here. We'll run it ahead to about 4:30 tonight. Notice at Hatteras they could be up in the 40 plus mile an hour range. Around here we're in the 10 to 15 mile an hour gust range could get up around 20. They'll stay up around 40 to 50 miles an hour in Hatteras through the overnight hours. 1 a.m. There's almost 50 miles an hour. Then as we go through the day tomorrow by lunchtime, they're still feeling the effects because it's close. We're starting to see the winds uh, move away. The highest wind gusts move away and through the day tomorrow it'll pull out to sea and it'll knock those winds down. But it could be very windy uh, all the way through tomorrow night with wind speed still up around 30 miles an hour. We'll talk more about the path of it. Plus, we've got our complete forecast, too. That's all coming up for you in just a couple of minutes. John. Don, thanks. Now, we know many of you like connecting with us on Facebook. So Andrea Blandford spent about 20 minutes in the last hour going live to give you a view of what's happening. You can see her trekking out onto the sand and Rodanthe, where the waves are crashing higher on the beach. Andrea is in that part of Dare County with an up to the minute look at the changing conditions. Andrea. John and the conditions have taken a big turn since we got into town yesterday, especially with the winds really kicking up here in Rodanthe. And now we're in the thick of high tide. I want you to take a look at this house that you see behind us over here. Uh, waves were just barely reaching that house earlier this afternoon, and now you can see uh, getting very much inundated now as the surf is kicking up. The Atlantic is rocking this afternoon. Uh, as with any tropical storm or hurricane, the rip current are a very big concern. Unfortunately, we have not seen a soul out there braving the waters today as the no swimming flags are flying and no one is allowed onto Hatteras Island unless they live or work here. Earlier this morning over at Bonner Bridge, Dare County deputies had already set up a checkpoint. No visitors are allowed onto Hatteras or Ocracoke Islands. All ferry service has now been suspended. The conditions on the Pamlico Sound just too strong for ferries to operate there. We were able to get through the checkpoint, though, just to show you what it looks like along Highway 12 and why it is such a good thing that all those visitors evacuated quickly yesterday. Crews are already dealing with overwash where there was standing water yesterday. It is now building with high tide and these strong winds. People who live here say they're hunkering down for Maria and they're glad to see that mandatory evacuation for all visitors in place. Probably a good decision because you got like, uh, you know, you, there's an unsh you're never sure what's going to happen with this road, you know, mostly. And uh, the power probably make, might could go out. And back out here live, you can see just how angry the ocean looks this afternoon as we are expecting to see more and more of the effects of Maria brushing up against our coast later tonight into tomorrow morning. As you just heard big weather talk about emergency responders said even they were concerned that they would not be able to reach everyone in the thick of this storm tonight and into tomorrow. So that is why they issued that mandatory evacuation for visitors. We're live in Rodanthe, Andrea Blanford, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.
Andrea, thank you. And coming up in our next half hour, we'll take a closer look at Maria's impact on Puerto Rico. The governor there is warning of a humanitarian crisis. The storm killing at least 16 people. Only 5% of the island's electricity has been restored. We will get a full report from ABC's Eva Pilgrim. Now to breaking